before you start you're going to have to connect your arduino up to your at tiny you could use a breadboard for this and just connect it up by these jumper wires but i want to make something a bit more permanent so i put this little thing together and this is quite cool you just lift up the handle so i can do it and releases the chip push it down it locks the chip in uh you can see the led light for the blink test is right there so um you're going to need to be able to know how to wire this up so here's the wiring schematic and yeah so um if you want to make one of these then there's a step-by-step -step guide in the description in the link to my instructions page it shows you how to wire everything up and also how to program but let's get on with the video i'm um a noob at this but i guess that's a good thing because if i can do it anyone can do it and what i found was that online there just wasn't any great tutorials and the ones that were they were missing steps so i've rectified that and hopefully simplified it so obviously the first thing we need to do is make sure that our arduino is plugged in which it is then we go to file examples arduino isp and then click on arduino isp and this will set up your arduino as a programmer so that's the first main step okay so you can see up here that this new um, field is called Arduino ISP so this screen will just enlarge and this is the only screen you need to use you don't need to go back and forth or anything you just stay in this screen so the next thing we need to do is to load up some core files for the at ttiny so to do that we jump in the file preferences and then down here it says additional boards manager URLs there's a URL that I'll include in the description in the YouTube video, which I'm pasting in now. You hit OK. Next, we'll go to Tools. And then we'll go to Board and Board Manager. And what we want to do now is add those core files to the Arduino um, information or ISP. So if we go up to the Board Manager and do a search for at ttiny we get those files which are here they're, by, they're called diy at ttiny just install those okay they're successfully installed you can see down here so now if i hit the drop down we can select other boards and ports and we have the at ttiny to pick from a whole list and we're using the at ttiny 85 so i'm going to click ok on that then we want to go to tools, programmer, and we want to click on DIY at ttiny Arduino as ISP, because that will mean the at ttiny will be using the Arduino as a programmer. We can click onto that, go back into tools again, burn bootloader. This will burn the bootloader into the at ttiny. Okay, that's been that's done. You can see it's done there. Uh, and now we are actually ready to add our first script. So let's just get rid of all this. So then we put the blink, we want to do a test script first. So we'll grab the blink script, which will blink an LED on and off. And it's just a very generic one that you use to make sure that your program is working. Paste it in there. We need to go to sketch and then upload using programmer. Now you can see the sketch is compiling down here. We're done compiling, it's uploading. Done uploading. Now, if everything is working, you should see a flashing LED, which I can, and I'll show you now. There we have it. My very own flashing LED. Obviously, that's just a basic script just to make sure that everything's working okay, which it is. So from now on, sky's the limit. You can program at T-Tiny chips and build all types of things, such as this awesome electric dice. How cool is that? All my big old square LEDs. So nice. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it was of some help. 
I'll catch you soon.